pretty so if you can hear me because I'm outside <laughs> um, as you can see obviously um, so the wind is up so you might not be able to hear me good and I don't have a microphone right yet so it's probably gonna be a little bit hard to hear me but there's just been a lot going on with me um, a lot going on in the the family area let me see if I can let's see I'm trying to find a good place I'm trying to find a good place I don't know what's a good place who knows um I don't know maybe you can see me anyways um there's just been a lot going on with the family and stuff like that uh my grandmother passed away so that was kind of hard um today that I'm filming which is you know today is actually Easter today's Easter um so we uh, buried her on Good Friday um, so that's something that's been going on but anyways uh, with all of that that's 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 happened um, I, I wanted to it's it's been kind of busy and it's it's gonna be busy for me like really really busy for me in the next uh, seven weeks <laughs> I'm gonna have a really busy seven weeks coming up um, because I am now in a cinema directing class and there's only four students in my class so it's like it's a big deal it's a major class your girl I'm gonna be directing like what um, no <laughs> I'm gonna be learning how to direct movies um, now if I direct a movie that's that's another question um, I don't think I'll be directing movies but who knows where life will take me I'm kind of curious to see where it's gonna go from here especially with the degree I'm getting um, so really interesting degree digital film it's gonna be great but so just so I get something out there I hope it's not wet because we have been getting a lot of rain but I think it's dry I think it's pretty dry you can hear the birds they're so pretty anyways um so I think I'm putting this out so this will be a video for you to watch uh, I might um, read you this paranormal experience uh, story that I found online it, it is in Egypt <laughs> it comes from Egypt so I thought that was interesting I might read that to you just so there is some kind of paranormal something in this video besides just me talking but um, I just wanted to put something out there because I'm, I'm gonna be so busy so I'm still gonna be pushing and getting videos in I'm shooting for two a week that's what I'm shooting for um, the past couple weeks I've been getting two in a week so if I can do that that's great because my camera is gonna be really busy for the next seven weeks filming a movie that I've got to figure out what I'm doing because I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know what movie I'm gonna feel I gotta create a movie I got to it's got to be coming from this noggin so it's no telling <laughs> what it's gonna be about um, there's so many ideas in there so oh wow I gotta show you this I just got to show you this it looks it this does not do it justice it, it looks so much bigger um, to me, like where I'm sitting. It looks so much bigger than what it actually is. Uh, so, oh my gosh, yeah, no. With that being said, so I'm gonna be really busy. Okay, I've done made that clear. So every week I'm gonna at least have, every week I'm gonna try to get at least one um, of like the documentary style videos that I do. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but like the um, I call it documentary, but is it a documentary? Because <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like, is it a documentary? I don't know. The lighting is so bad because I'm outside. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, so yeah just a spooky story with um, with like the videos like what I do telling a story so the story time videos if that makes sense if you will 
Uh, I'll do those, I'll do one of those, and then I'll try to squeeze in like I've been doing. Uh, like a makeup video. Uh, I'll try to do one of those uh, where I do like a makeup eye look and then just, you know, maybe put a little bit of speed on it, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see, maybe like where, where I'm not just where it's not real time and you're not having to sit there and watch because it can be a slow process <laughs> so uh, and I don't want to bore you so some of the clips I speed it up just so you don't have to sit there and and you're like what the crap <laughs> so let me know if you enjoy those um, and and I put like uh, I tell like a story with it like a paranormal story so if you like those just let me know um, and then uh, with that, I'll do like, um, so I'll do those and then I'll do the documentary. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. There's so much going on. So I'll do those and let me know in the comments if you like those. Now, let me see. That's all the updates I have right now. Surprisingly. Oh, uh, so there's that. So you're up to date. Let's go over. I am in a directing class for the next seven weeks. I'm going to be a super busy person and I'm going to put two videos out every week. I'm going to try one makeup, one documentary style um, video my kids are playing. Okay. Okay. Can we agree to that? I think we can. <laughs> I hope we can. <laughs> okay. So, so this is, so you don't have to go without, completely without some kind of paranormal story from your Sam's Pretty Paranormal. I found this story. It's on Live Science um, website. And this is called 1200 BC Ghost Story from Egypt. This is what this is called, okay? <laughs> um, in 1915, Egyptologist Gaston Maspero published a translation of an ancient Egyptian ghost story, possibly set in Luxor, ancient Thebes shown above, which I will show you that picture so you'll understand what um, that was discovered on four pieces of pottery. In the go in the story, in the story, a ghost of a mummified man tells a high priest of the god Amun. Amun? about his current condition. I grew up and I did not see the rays of the sun. I did not breathe the air, but darkness was before me every day and no one came to find me. The ghost says, translation by Maspero, the ghost seems to complain of some accident that has happened to himself or to his tomb, but I cannot make out what is the subject of his dissatisfaction, Maspero wrote. The ancient Egyptians believed strongly in life after death and created a series of spells called the Book of the Dead, which they believed helped them reach the afterlife. And that is, um, that, that's that. I don't know. Uh, um, anyways, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, that's some guys. Um, but that, the Book of the Dead, so like, I want to do a, a little bit more, um, research and some kind of something do some kind of video about the book of the dead in egypt because that i've always been um intrigued with the book of the dead ever since uh i know ever since the movie uh the mummy came out um i really loved that movie that was an awesome movie um so i have been interested in that ever since that movie and to find out that it was actually a real thing that's great so I'm going to look into that. I've always been interested in Egypt. Fun fact, fun fact, this is going to make you laugh. Um, when I was in school, I had started sixth grade. <laughs> and someone asked me if I was from Egypt. Do, do I look like I'm from Egypt? Could I be an Egyptian goddess? Could I? No. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Um, I am all native Cherokee and all that good stuff. Um, so no, your girl cannot be e Egyptian. Um, <laughs> I actually, um, 
I actually want to do a video sharing my family tree. Well, where I come from. Um, I actually just come from here, America, Cherokee Hills, all native. But I do have one person that came from Hertfordshire, England. So I got a little bit of, of the UK up in there too. So, yay! Anyways, <laughs> um, but mostly Native American, if you could not tell. So, anyways, I know this is like a weird and random kind of video. I just I wanted to put something out because this week's probably going to be a little bit busy for me. So that's why I'm probably going to do the documentary. Um, the, at the end of this week so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do next week I'll start with the makeup video but I just kind of wanted to give you an update about what's gonna be happening with me for the next seven weeks with the, my class um, it's gonna be stressful I feel it I feel like it's gonna be really stressful and I'm going to think positive thoughts because I think I can do this who knows um, just pray for me if you will um also i was in a podcast um where i talked about zach bagans um i know i have a video on here about when i visited zach bagans museum but um i had an experience with one of his dolls that actually connected me to um another lady uh named Dee Dee, and we become friends through this doll which is really crazy we we um discovered each other on twitter and we shared our experiences with this doll lily and that's how we became friends so that's a f another fun fact um and she is um with paranormally blonde which i have showed you on my channel before and also get haunted i want you to check all them out um i will link i will put um the link or let's see yeah i'll put the link to the podcast in my description below and be sure to check it out because me and her had similar experiences and that doll brought similar situations to our life so we we connected through that it's very interesting you want to check that out um so yeah well anyways but that being said i'm gonna go get started on my outline for my movie i gotta go do that I gotta come up with a movie. Help. Jeez. Anyways. But, yeah, until next time, um, this week, hopefully later, you guys stay sweet, stay smart, stay safe, and happy Easter if you're, you know, whatever. I hope you had a good Easter. I don't know. <laughs> um, hopefully I can get this video out today. If not, tomorrow. I hope you had a good Easter to the people of tomorrow. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey. Okay.